today we're going to talk about drop shipping on I Will Teach You How to Make Money, episode 12. This gets to be really, really interesting. I get a lot of emails about this. Hey, Glendon, what do you think about drop shipping? What do you think about drop shipping domination? What do you think about all of these things? Now, I'm going to get deeper into it, but if you don't have time to watch the training session, I, I don't recommend it. And I'm going to give you some of the highlights of why I don't recommend it. And I've spent about a week looking at videos of people who do drop shipping, getting the feel for their ski low. And I've just come over this thing over and over again. That a lot of these people don't look like they're making big money. I think they're making money. I think they're making maybe more money than their job. But... What's job income? 30, 40, 50,000 a year? You know, and also that's gross revenue. What's the net profit? Many people get really, really irritated when someone says, hey, I sold a million dollars worth of product this year. And you're like, what's your net profit? Well, no, 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 we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. And it gets to be kind of interesting, you know, almost anticlimactic because the profit is what matters. I can say that I make more profit through the organization than people who have sales 10, 15, 20, 30 times more than me. Yeah, I can safely say that because I've seen numbers. I know some people. I figured I can do basic math. And I'm like, whoa. And I'm going to tell you why I, Glendon Cameron, am not a fan of drop shipping and some of this other stuff. I don't care. Let's just say, for the sake of this argument, drop shipping works magic. It works 100% of the time. Which I'm going to, you know, once we get into it this evening, it doesn't. But for the sake of this conversation, let's say it works 100% of the time. So let's talk about what's going to happen. If you don't have your own website and you're drop shipping from eBay or Amazon or you're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay, the margins are fucking razor thin. Now, if it works 100% of the time, you still make money. Let's just say you make, just keep it simple, it's a $500 item. Your margin on it is $50 after all expenses. Not bad money for a few mouse clicks. Not bad money. So let's say you can move, what, 500 times 10 to 5,000. Let's say 50,000 a month. So for every 10 grand you sell, that's 500 bucks. So that's $2,500, yeah. Yeah, 2500 bucks for you for the month for a few mouse clicks. Not bad money. Now, how do you scale this? How do you scale it? Because, see, this is the thing. You're not selling your own product, so you cannot ever become a brand. You're not selling your own product. You can't control production runs. You're not selling your own product. If the manufacturer says, hey, you know, that product that you were killing it with, we're no longer going to sell that, you're screwed. So the lack of, even, that's that's if it works 100% of the time. That's if it's kicking, banging, you know, hitting all 12 cylinders. It still turns into a shitty proposition because this is what happens. I have drop shipped before and I've done a lot of different types of drop shipping. I'll give you the one that worked first. I was selling this furniture and they let me do you know what's called private label which essentially is a furniture company will sell some stuff for you and they won't put their name on it and you can put whatever you want on it. You can either put your label on it or you can put no label and it comes in unmarked boxes. And they were local. And I knew the owner. And I could go in there and touch it. 
and I would go in the warehouse and see and ask him like what sells, what doesn't sell. And anything that was a hot seller, I would not fuck with. I sold the bullshit. I sold the things that were hard to sell. Why? Because they were always in stock. I didn't have to worry about running out. And uh, dude made me a solid deal. And that's how it, that's why I worked because I wasn't selling the hot stuff that ran out. I got paid cash or a check. You know, back then it was a check. Go to the bank, cash the check, go to him, pick up the furniture, and it was boom, boom, boom. And it, it was lovely. Then he decided to shut up the shop, retire. Someone else bought the business. And they said, no, we're not going to do that for you, man. If you want to do that, uh, you need to pay this. Damn, they doubled my cost. Doubled my exposure. And I was like, hey, you know, your business, your way. But I'm out. And that was the best one that worked. Uh, I will tell you another one. Actually, there's another one working. This was with my physical books. I use CreateSpace as a dropshipper. Someone would go to my website, they would order a book, physical copy. I would go to the CreateSpace, put my credit card number in, their address, and send the book straight to them. Boom! That worked well. So I'm not going to sit here and say drop shipping doesn't work. What I'm going to say is you've got to have the right partners for it to consistently work long term. And there's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of games out there. And then in the show, I'm going to give you a real killer reason why not to drop ship that can put your whole business profile in serious jeopardy. I'm talking about everything that you do, serious jeopardy. All right. So I will teach you to make money. Episode 12, 3.30 p.m. today.